today is this Debo Samuel thing. He he erased the 49ers off of his Instagram and cleansed his social media of every and any connection to the Niners. And people are, you know, putting two and two together and saying, oh, you know, they're going to trade him. And we know Robert Sala and the Jets just tried to get Tyreek Hill. It makes sense. They're going to try to get Debo, but um, I don't know what the p- offer would be. And I don't know if John Lynch would even answer the phone, but give me your thought on, on, on that dilemma. Let's just say that, you know, cause it, you know, the wide receiver market has exploded Mark and the oh, 70 yeah. million guaranteed is probably what Debo's looking at. And Prague, as you well know, from being in this market is an incredible negotiator. And I wouldn't be surprised if Prague was saying, Hey, you know what? Uh, we're offering 50 million guaranteed or 30 million guaranteed or 40 million guaranteed, not right. 70. Um, he's, he's that good of a negotiator. He's that tough of a negotiator. What do you think? Yeah. What do you think's going on there? Do you think anything's going on there? Do you think Debo's going to be a Niner? Do you think they're going to trade him? What's your, what's your years of experience? Tell yeah. you? I think uh, my initial reaction was young guy, probably emotionally reacting to a uh, first offer, first or second offer from the 49ers. And I'm sure you're absolutely on point. Uh, they probably offered him substantially less than uh, what Tyreek got and what he thinks is his market value, because I'm sure after the season that he had and his versatility, that he sees himself right up there with those other guys. And, um, you know, before maybe his agent could even get to him, he probably had that, well, screw those guys, you know, I'm unplugging, you know, I'm I'm not a niner. And you've seen it a million times, Larry, you've been around long enough to know that, you know, a lot of times younger players have an emotional reaction. They're like, get, I want out of here. You know, I can see, you know, calling his agent. That's BS. They don't appreciate me. I was a running back and, uh, you know, receiver. I I was out there in, you know, Green Bay looked like he was on his last leg, you know, at the end of that game. But uh, I'm going to I'm going to go ahead and say, you know, he'll get calmed down. And I think that, uh, you know, he'll probably uh, get his emotions together, his agent, the people around him, his support team, calm him down, realize, you know, this is part of the process. It's a negotiation. You're going to get a great deal. And then if it gets really ugly and he doesn't have a great counsel around him, you know, then it could get to the point where 49ers you know, kind of, you know, get frustrated with him and maybe shop him a little bit. To me, that almost seems far-fetched. And gosh, Larry, how many times have we heard like these rumors and then on talk radio and all that, we spend two or three, the cycle goes through. Sure. Talking about it. And all of a sudden it's off the map and you never hear another thing about it. But um, the one thing I will say that could give it some some truth is I, I would bet you deep in the the uh, for recesses of 49er headquarters they are looking at the way that Debo Samuels plays which I admire him you know he, he is Very all out but you know let's just look at our history Larry and you, you guys have been through it guys like that to take that kind of punishment they don't last a long time. And the 49ers no. are probably thinking, man, we're not giving him a guaranteed, you know, what, 70 million bucks or whatever, because this guy's probably got a, a shelf life. The uh, Frank Gores of the world are far and few between, you know, that, yeah. that last. So uh, my feeling is there, there might, you know, be a little where there's smoke, there's fire. Maybe the 49ers thought, well, you know. What could we get for a guy like Debo? Because he's not going to be with the... Debo Samuel, I'll tell you right now, is not going to have a 10-year career in the NFL. That's my opinion. Yeah, he's a great player. 